I'm a burner. I went in 2014. I went to then mid burn in Israel in 2018. I'm going again for the second time to Burning Man this year, coming up the end of August. It's incredible. It's an experience. It's something that everybody who has been to it believes everybody on earth has to experience at least once before they die. And everybody who hasn't been to it believes it's stupid and too expensive and dirty and think they shouldn't go. It's amazing. Here are some photos. I also provided some of my own personally shot photos and videos of Burning Man. Uh, it's incredible. It's not a festival. It really sort of is a different way to experience life. This is a bowling alley I encountered in the middle of the playa, just set up by people. You can just bowl as you bike your your bicycle around the dusty playa where dust storms pick up. It's a combination of radical self-reliance mixed with a gifting economy. It's if humanity expanded and developed in a different way. These are all photos that I took. Um, if you just lived on another planet, if we really did build life on another planet and you figured out how to exist in a way completely the opposite of how our life and culture has developed. There's no commodification, there's no logos, you build your own cities, it's radical self-reliance. You can't, there's no money exchange, there's not even any barter. It's just as an experiment in how people could live differently, embracing art. There are art cars driving around, like that shoe you see there. Everyone's got a bike and you travel around and just have different experiences. This is the robot heart camp that I'm gonna be camping with this year, doing their morning at sunrise party out in deep playa. Everybody drives out to it very far and you just have a totally different experience of life. People greet you with a hug, everyone looks great. And you just come there and you bring all the supplies you need to survive in incredibly harsh desert conditions. And then each night they burn some sculpture. This is a huge metal thing that was just built by people in the middle of the playa and you can climb up in it and hang upside down and do stuff. There's a tree house up into the sky. There's people giving you 24 hour miso soup. There's orgy tents and there's libraries and there's radio stations that spring up and it's just mm. an incredible, I, I, I bike rode through this magical thing. You see this is me bike riding through this magical just doors with curtains that you could just go bike ride and have a weird experience. There are doors with fortunes in them, you go inside of it. And then here's the burn an explosion of the man on the last day representing kind of burning the, the the man that you know society seems to hold so dear and people think that's the highlight but my favorite is the night after the man is the last night of burning man is they burn the temple down there's a temple they build every year as well and people go out throughout the week and pray at the temple and grieve their lost loved ones i'm going to be grieving my father at the temple when i come up there and you can write notes to your lost loved ones and place them in the temple and then on the last night they burn the temple down and it's this very quiet somber solemn night and you all sit there and you kind of experience this like much more quiet introspective experience after this week of wilder experiences and then you tear down your camp and you help remove the build and an entire city the size probably of six Las Vegas strips back to back all in a circle gets torn down and after 24 hours later there is not a trace. One of the principles of Burning Man, no trace left behind, not a speck of glitter or a piece of garbage left in the entire desert. It's no trace whatsoever left behind and it's kind of a great example of how society can cooperate differently, can experience life differently. It's magical. Are you coming with me this year? Absolutely not. I've convinced you? No. You're in 100%? Nope. I'd like your deposit by noon. See, wait, 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 I thought there was no money. I wrote, no, you, well, to go, you have to kind of pay to go, but then once you're there, oh. there's no money. <laughs> okay. I wrote down the word noon, so you're gonna have to okay. pay me by noon. Okay, well, they, it's on a piece of paper. Yep. Um, okay, I have a thousand more questions. Please. First, thank you because you're the only person who's ever edified it. At least I'm beginning to understand what's going on. Uh, so, um, do you know how long it's been around? I don't know exactly, but something like 20 years. Okay, I I, I thought this was Maybe one of 25. those things that were like the Bilderbergs and stuff like that, and the fancy people went to it, and it had the conspiracy theory. So I, that's not it at all. No, it's just wow. There's every sub community, every genre. There's rock and roll camps. There's deep house camps. There's camps where they teach you how to make an origami uh, bird and teach you little skills. So there's it's everything. mainly like art and feeling good about folks and working together. It's so it's like. Massively left wing. 
Oh, hugely. It's a huge hippie, very progressive, very left wing experience. I mean, it's it's reimagining society if people were to work together, if we didn't have this this capitalism solely based economy where we actually could work together. We take care of ourselves, but also of each other. They say the playa provides and things appear that just as you need them, they kind of magically appear because everybody's kind of vibe is together in the same way. Uh, no doubt there's a lot of partying, but it's a lot of work too. I'm signing, I'm signing up for, for a camp where I have to work a lot. We have to build and tear down. You have to work shifts during it. You Each camp builds their own shower, their own kitchen. You're making meals communally for your campmates, but also other people that wander in, you give them a meal if they need it or some water. It's, so can people stay for a day or do they have can. to buy in for the whole week? You can stay as long as you want. First time I went, I only stayed four days. This time I'm staying for eight days, the, 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 the full week. Um, you don't want to stay for a day. It's a, it's a huge production. It's hours deep into the desert, and it's you have Where, to buy a Nevada lot of supplies. Or? It's in Nevada, like two hours or so from Reno in Black Rock, Black uh-huh. Rock Desert. They build Black Rock City up out of nowhere, and it disappears after the week. Okay, so it's about a week. So you a week of build, and then and then and then one week of the actual burn. And everybody's got assignments. That's why if you're on the cleanup crew. That's why they don't leave a spec behind because they have a cleanup crew and that's their job to, to do it. Everyone anymore. does the cleanup. I mean, every single person ships it on that, but also throughout the week, you just don't leave. You will not see trash around the playa. During the week, there will not be cans and bottles and scraps and wrappers. And where do they put it? Everyone is in charge. It's called Moop. It's matter out of place. And you grab it and you put it in your pocket and you go back to your camp and put it in your camp refuse container. And then it gets taken out at the end of the week. And there's every camp has to figure out systems to get it taken with trucks and with forklifts and with all the things off the playa and, and disposed of on your own merits. Is there, I, so there's so many misconceptions I had about it that, that it was like some rich people get together and burn something and it sounds kind of like conspiratorial and weird. Uh, so apparently that's. No, only I mean there are some rich people that will stay in RVs and they'll they'll do it glam glamping style, but that's not the essence of it, and that's not the majority of okay, it. Okay, so that no, I'm going to call that 200 percent wrong. Okay, yeah, uh, I thought there was like a music festival or something. Is There's there tons of music, tons of music. My camp's Robot Hearts, known for one of the biggest sound camps. They put on. There's huge DJs that come and perform. I'm actually going to do stand up for the first time at Burning Man this year. No, okay. and kind of at the climax of, of a big party with with Robot Heart and, and Pineapple Motel and all these cool different camps. Tons of music, but there's also lectures and talks and experiential things and things where you learn and hear about cooperation or you learn about about you know open radical honesty or about sensuality or there's I mean there's just any interest that you have is represented at, at Burning Man. So you know two things caught my attention. One was uh, talks are allowed, so I could go there and, and start preaching. You can. Okay, and how? Okay, and then the orgies. The orgies were also interesting, just as a topic matter. There, there, um, there will be. I've not found the orgy tent yet, but it's on my list this this year. So, do we know that it's re- like for? Oh, sure? it's real. It's real. And people do it. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Huh, I don't know. See, okay, and so uh, I would think that that would be the first thing you would find. I mean, just as a matter of intellectual curiosity. Yeah, right? good point. Right. And anyways, so but let's say that I wanted to do something like you're going to do the, your stand up. Let's say I wanted to go and do a talk show. How do I do it? What do I do? You just do it. You just, I mean, it, you know, there's people, some people go in free camp and you're just allowed to hang out there and do your own thing. But most of these camps build over years and build up bigger and bigger infrastructure. They build a stage, they put their own programming schedule out just for that camp, and people just bike around and randomly find it. Some camps have their own website and you can post what your programming schedule is. But it's individual camp. There is no centralized. Other thing, it's also, it's completely decentralized. There's very few rules. They just let people, and it's one of the only experiences like this where the people who attend build the experience. There is nothing without the people who attend it. Very little is provided by the organizers of Burning Man. It's just they give this infrastructure for people to go and create their own reality. And you'll see how many different, beautiful, interesting ways reality kind of springs up. And then the last misconception that I had was that it was in essence, and this is some of the second one, Coachella. Right, just a different Coachella, right? And so it turns out, no, not really. It shares the all. dust, it shares some of the sex, and it shares a little bit of the music. But otherwise, no, not really. Coachella's not music. All. That's just a music are- festival. And that can be douchey. I've never been, but that can be the thing that's very commodified and very about the scene and being seen. It's the opposite here. There's no cell service. There's no Instagramming when you're there. There's no nothing. It's a total escape from normal life. 
And it just is a different way to exist, really, to me. It, it, it's like Mad Max meets the Disney Electrical Parade. And it's like if life developed on Mars and we we're able to breathe there, this might be what it's like. It's the only way to experience a completely different version of human experience is the best way that I can explain it. Yeah, that's how it would start, of course, in the beginning. And, and mind you, that's probably how we started in the beginning here on this planet. Until some guy thought, hey, maybe if I murder a quarter of these people, they'll make me king. Mm -hmm. And then I'll get to have everyone obey me. And then that's what happened, and then the rest is history. But anyways, one of the principles of Burning Man: no murder. I'm writing it down: no murder. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, but anyways, um, look, it's no. Now it's not a piece of paper, guys. Yep. It's official. Now it's now. real. Um, so, look, kidding aside, it sounds both amazing and totally not for me at the same time. No, I don't think it's for you. I don't think it's for you for reasons that I won't, you know criticize you on air for, but I need to first get you to smoke weed with me, then maybe do a mushroom or two, and then we'll talk about getting you a Burning Man in the years to come. But people of all ages go, I didn't mean to seem sound like you're only because you're a little older than me that you wouldn't be going, but maybe that's part of it. And no, that is no, I would have hated it even when I was no, young. You you, it might not be for you, but there's many ways to do it. You can burn your own way, and it's just a very, very cool experience, but I don't know that it's, it's your thing. Yeah, and, and here's why, guys. Look, it sounds lovely and Ben's done a great job of selling it. This is the first time I've ever even thought about going. And so, and seeing that wondrous cooperation with that, and that's decentralized, that does sound magical and, and great to see. And they're not wrong to say everybody should see it at least once. And that's why someone like you should go because you talk so much on air about how we wish people could act differently and how people with just greed motives and profit motives only are, are not evolving our society in a way that we wish. It's really interesting to go and see it actually in practice in a different way. It's very cool. No, 100%. I totally get it. The reason that why it's not for me Plus is- Everybody's dressed very skimpily, generally speaking. I'm trying to lose yeah. some weight so I can dress my own skimpy way, but I'm more, I am more enjoy seeing you just, people of the opposite sex dress skimpily. I hear you, but you just added another reason why I won't go, because I'm not dressing simply. We skimpily. talked earlier, your midriff back in your football <laughs> days was pretty exciting so well back in those days anyways no like the inconvenience i just i'm like oh i i, I don't know where to buy food i have to you don't, build my you don't own buy bathroom. food you bring your food or you cook your food uh, but you can join a camp and some and then people with those skills will take care of those part and you help in the ways you can just work a shift dust. in the kitchen the I dust is incredible I you have a big you jacket see. on and you're biking with a friend and all of a sudden a dust storm hits and it's intense dust storms like you would yeah. imagine on tatooine or something and you just hunker down with your bike and you cover yourselves with your jacket and you just survive the elements in a way that we don't ever have to so do so you don't shower the whole 8 days no they build a shower you can shower as much as you want it might not always be warm, but you could shower. Yeah, skeptical. Yeah, um, okay, so. You'd like the deposit by noon? <laughs> too inconvenient for me, and I'm not proud of myself. I'm not proud of myself, I get it, it's a fascinating adventure. It really is. I recommend it for other people. Uh, some of those tents sound interesting, tantalizing, okay? The miso soup tent in particular oh, for you. For, I wouldn't leave there's, that tent. There's, there's one called Waffles and House, they play house music. And they serve you waffles instead of Waffle House. It's waffles and house. Very clever stuff. There's a so big you Shabbat. Go in and they just give you the waffles. Yeah, everything is no free. It's provided to everybody. Our, our camp provides. I'm my first time going to be camping with them, but an amazing dance party. You get to go on our art car bus and experience that. Big DJs. And, uh, and there are camps that, I mean, camps that literally provide any sort of experience. It's all there in just cool different ways. There's late night pizza that serves 24 hour pizza and you can just roll up and, mm -hmm. and get that. It's just, there's a lot of cool, unique things and cooperation yeah. in a way you won't, you won't see anywhere else. No, no, Ben, you did a terrific job of explaining it and selling it. So Thanks. if for the folks out there who are into it, which I bet is a lot, Right? Go check it out. Sounds amazing. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.